Now this is the, uh, the last kind or the fourth kind of processes found in a petroleum refinery, the supporting process. So, interestingly enough, you will see that we also make a product here, not a product that the refinery could uh, sell, a byproduct, if you will, uh, to uh, make revenue for the refinery. So supporting processes make sure that the refinery could actually run. It's not a huge chemical conversion process, if you will, that have to do with uh, making the desirable hydrocarbons. But the principal supporting process is the acid gas recovery and, and the sulfur recovery, or acid gas removal and sulfur recovery. What is an acid gas? Well, H2S is the principal acid gas that is produced in a refinery from the hydro treatment processes. Remember, we remove sulfur from the fuels and from the fractions of crude oil as hydrogen sulfide. Hydrogen sulfide is an acidic gas, so it needs to be removed from the rest of the gases, typically methane, ethane, that come with uh, hydrogen sulfide to the recovery or the removal, acid gas removal process, that we use a basic solvent uh, to uh, capture the acid gas, particularly uh, hydrogen sulfide. So it's essentially an acid-base uh, interaction. We can use uh, ethanolamine as a base in a solvent extraction process, a liquid extraction process to remove H2S, hydrogen sulfide, uh, from methane, ethane, uh, other hydrocarbons that are not acidic. Um, you will see that we also have some carbon dioxide that is found along with H2S. That's also an acidic gas that tends to be separated with uh, hydrogen sulfide by, by solvent extraction in this basic solvent. So once H2S is captured or removed using the solvent extraction process, now we need to convert that into a sellable product. I know people always think that here is a point we could recover hydrogen for reuse, hydrogen being such a valuable material, but unfortunately that is not possible. We need to uh, burn hydrogen into water waste pretty much hydrogen so that we can recover sulfur as an elemental sulfur in a solid or liquid form that is sold to a chemical industry, chemical manufacturing industry. You know that the, the basic uh, material, the primary chemical that is made from sulfur for the chemical industry is hydrogen sulfide, uh, excuse me, uh, sulfuric acid manufacturing. So you use sulfur, elemental sulfur, produced in refineries in large quantities to make uh, sulfuric acid, which is a very important raw material uh, or reactant in many chemical processes. So instead of mining for sulfur, as was done in the early days, now sulfur, a large fraction of sulfur, almost two-thirds of sulfur used in uh, sulfuric acid manufacturing comes from petroleum refineries as a byproduct. Why is that? Because the crude oil that is refined in, in, in these refineries becoming um, more sour or higher sulfur content that should be removed because we would like clean refuels by environmental regulations. So dirtier crude oil means higher sulfur crude oil coming in and we need cleaner fuels because of increasingly strict environmental regulations on the sulfur content, particularly on diesel fuel, and that gives us large quantities of sulfur recovered in the supporting processes. There are two back-to-back uh, -back processes, as you will see, Klaus and Scott, to remove elemental sulfur and sell it as a byproduct from the refinery. The last uh, process we will talk about as a supporting process is, of course, wastewater treatment, 
water and steam are used in huge quantities. That's not, there is no process in petroleum refining that steam or water is not used. And of course, a refinery generates a lot of wastewater. There are different um, extents of uh, contamination. There is actually steam or water that comes into direct contact with uh, the hydrocarbons or crude oil. Those are the most heavily polluted uh, water. They should be treated separately. One very important point to make in order to uh, have the best uh, water treatment process, the key is segregation of the waste streams. You don't want to mix the wastewater coming from, say, uh, distillation with uh, the storm water. That is also contaminated because it runs uh, through uh, the surface. So if the refinery it may be contaminated with oil or other, other species. So we need to keep these uh, stream segregators in the wastewater treatment process. And we should also make some wise decisions about water use. For example, for desalting, you don't really need to use fresh water. You can use uh, wastewater that is contaminated with hydrocarbons but doesn't contain salt to remove salt from uh, crude oil, the very first process before the distillation.